The Brigmars were an ancient family, bankrupted a generation ago. Since then, the manor has housed two street gangs, a smuggling ring, innumerable rats, and the Brigmore witches. I'd always left them alone, but now a painter named Kalila had taken up witchcraft and formed a coven. She was trying something. A ritual. But what kind? The outsider knows. I cannot abide a mystery. I scouted, sir. They've locked the front, and I've seen evidence of snares. Also, maybe it's nothing, but I spotted several statues of the woman Delilah. I don't know what it means, but I thought it was worth mentioning. It means trouble. Anything else? They're getting in and out of the house somehow, but I haven't spotted it. Sorry, sir. Best I can do. Good enough. I'll take it from here. I killed a hound in the yard, and it got straight back up and went for me. I had to crush its skull to be sure. I hope everything is in order, sir. found here. So tragic. So mawkish, more like. Why do you obsess about that butler and his tramp? He drowned, thinking of his love. He was a thief. 
He drowned thinking of what Lord Brigmore would do if he was caught. I like to imagine he was more devoted than that. He's still there, you know, rotting in the water. Why don't you go and give him a kiss? There's not much left of his face, but you can always imagine there's more. Why do you ruin everything? Teapot. What in the boy do you want that for? When's the last time we had proper tea? Last week, but the leaves were nearly dust. It still put the taste on my tongue. Wouldn't mind a bit more. And we'll find some, maybe on some passing boat. Maybe there'll be a trader wagon coming through. Not with the plague on the city. Everyone knows the dead don't buy tea. Or anything else. Still, if I get that copper pot, I'll be halfway there. You're moon mad, sister. Ever optimistic. Don't think I'm on your side, because I'm not. If you raise a hand to any of my sisters but Delilah, you'll answer to me. Understood. What have you got? When her ritual's done, Emily Caldwin's mind will be gone, and Delilah will look out through her eyes the rest of her life. 
And Delilah will rule as Empress. That's up to you. I've got my money. That's all I need. Wait. What about a way in? Use the crypt. There's a lever that opens one of the tombs. The lever is kept in the shed. That's all I can tell you. I'm so sick of this assassin. The other sisters speak of him with a tiny shudder of awe in their voices, like stupid schoolgirls. Don't worry, love. The hounds will warn us, or the statues, and then we'll descend on him like a murder of crows, and we'll pick his bones clean.
the foot of district was run down. brilliant colors. The brushwork is magnificent. Our lady is a genius. Timsha's portrait was only the beginning. A vague mesmerism. But with Emily, Delilah will extinguish the girl's spirit and inhabit her completely. Own her skin and bones. Make her pretty teeth smile. What will happen if Emily doesn't become Empress? Half the city thinks she's dead. Emily Caldwin will take the throne, don't worry. Delilah is certain. She sees things in the void you and I do not. Why didn't she just paint the Lord Regent? He's already running the Empire. She has her reasons. Delilah was raised in Dunwall Tower, don't forget. And besides, the Lord Regent doesn't have a chance. Without the Boyle sisters behind him paying the army, he's a walking corpse. anymore. I can't. Brother Marcus, I denounce, I denounce the Abbey. Wandering gaze, lying tongue, restless hands, roving feet, rev, rev it. The seven strictures are seven lies. The high overseer is the whelp of a wolf out. The seven strictures are seven lies. Seven lies. Seven lies. What happened to you? I denounce. I denounce the oracles. The oracles. They, they saw. The Colwood girl is the key. The girl of the painting. Where's Delilah? Sisters, over here. We'll boil these wings tonight. Mr. Timsh has come to ruin. No. Delilah's former patron. How delicious. Yes. Arrested. 
stripped of his title and license. He'll rot in Coldridge. I assume you've already told Delilah. Yes. Though I couldn't tell if she was pleased to hear the news. Perhaps she actually cared for the old fool. glad I found you. Is the painting of the void sealed? Yes. I put the lantern back in Our Lady's studio. It'll be ready when she calls. Hmm. But I don't think Delilah will return this way. When she calls us, it will be to Dunwall Tower. Probably true. Evie, may I confess something to you? Promise not to tell the others. Of course. You can always confide in me. When I was in the studio, I painted the mark on my hand, just to see. It was foolish, I know, but I couldn't help myself. Never be ashamed of your ambition. It's why she chose you. Thank you. Your words are always exactly what I need, Evie. If only my birth sisters had been more like you. Well, if they had, they'd still be alive, wouldn't they?
Sister, you all have relied on more important things. Nothing. My dear sisters has wandered away from me. goes wrong who will help her doesn't it worry you you underestimate our great lady's resourcefulness she is not alone not entirely the statues of course they're more than statues she's put her will in them and in the void their power is much greater do not fret sweet tilda lady delilah needs you to be strong and steadfast this is no time to wilt like a summer daisy. I won't. Forgive me, sister. You're right. You have many talents, Dowd, and they've served you. Delilah's talents are quite different. She creates images, but she does more. She captures spirit. She insinuates her will into her subject, whatever it is. We're witnessing her masterpiece, and perhaps yours as well. I gave you Delilah's name, and you followed it to this moment. You see now what hangs in the balance. Emily's life, Delilah's ambition, an empire in the act of crumbling. In your long life, I've rarely seen you act with such consummate grace. I give my mark sparingly, and I don't play favorites. But I will watch this with unusual attention. The Void. Time to see what you've really got, Delilah. work. 
She's been busy. Yasmin Caldwin, heir to the Empire of the Isles. I call out to you from the void. I call you with ochre from Morley, carmine beetle shells, Circonin lazurite, Viridian bile. The tones of your flesh I tempered with Pandician chalk. The same loom that spun the fabric of your dresses made this canvas. I made my brushes from the hairs of your own scalp. Emily, you cannot ignore me. My power is too deep, my reach too long. Brush touches paint. Brush touches canvas. Brush touches void. And now I see you, Emily Caldwell. I breathe your breath. I can feel what you do. The bright mornings in the pub. I feel the cold night air of the ruin where you sleep. And the stink of the river. I touch the moment. Mine touches the world. You love the corvo of time and your lost mother. For your caretaker, Callista. I feel your fear in the night. Your hunger to learn. To become someone important. My hunger to learn. My fear. You are becoming mine. We are nearly finished. Close your eyes, Emily. Sleep forever. Feel the void open beneath you. Make room for me. Give in to me, Emily. Give in to me now! Paint flows. Blood flows. Life goes. Out with the old, in with the new. You've lived in his bones long enough. Sweet on earth. It is complete. I am. What? What's happening? This is all wrong. What am I becoming? Outsider's blood. Is this some trick? No! No one will ever know exactly what it took to save Emily Caldwin from a living death as Delilah's puppet. No one except the outsider, who watches everything and thinks his own dark thoughts and speaks to few in any generation. I've learned that our choices always matter. To someone. Somewhere. And sooner or later, in ways we can't always fathom, the consequences come back to us. I came from Circonos to Dunwall as a boy, made my living as a killer, one of the few who've heard the outsider's voice. I murdered an empress, but saved her daughter, who will one day rule the Empire. Those were my choices. I'm ready for what comes.
my life is in your hands. Make your choice. You make an eloquent plea for a man with innocent blood on his hands. It's a shame Corvo doesn't know the real story, isn't it? How in these last days you passed through Cold Ridge Prison like a shadow, dared the tangles of Dunwall's underworld, and walked out unscathed, outwitted one of the greatest witches in a generation, all with consummate care and skill. How you saved Emily Caldwin, daughter of the Empress, first of her name, and no one will ever know. But how does it end for Dowd, the hired killer, the murderer, the savior of the Empire? It's up to Corvo now.